The Olympics are in full swing, but the 2024 Paris Olympics have been the subject of several controversies. Not everyone is happy with how the games are being run. Here are three changes that can be made to improve the games. Number one, replace the opening ceremony with a monster truck rally. People took to the internet to complain about how this year's opening ceremony was satanic and perverted, but it was something far worse. It was corny. Instead of lighting the Olympic flame with an artsy fartsy knockoff Cirque du Soleil style snooze fest, let's get a guy dressed as Napoleon climbing into a baguette shaped monster truck. Let's have this man jump over 33 guillotines. 33 in honor of Paris 2024 being the 33rd modern Summer Olympics. While he's in midair, heads are rolled and boom, the monster truck bursts into flames and crashes into the Olympic torch and that's how the Olympic flame gets ignited. Now this is the kind of Olympic ceremony that will get the people going. If you want to get the common folk fired up for the Olympic Games, give them monster trucks, fire, and public executions via guillotine. That'll get them the move for some track and field. Second change. Make competitive eating an Olympic sport. Some of you poindexters might be saying, how dare you lump competitive eaters with pro athletes? I'm gonna say something that many of you aren't gonna like. Being able to eat 76 hot dogs in 10 minutes is the pinnacle of human endurance. You might be saying, no, marathons and triathlons are the peak of human endurance, but there are literally hundreds of thousands of people that finish these races every year. Do you know how many people have eaten more than 50 hot dogs in 10 minutes? Five. To put that into perspective, since 2001, more than 6,000 people have summited Everest. It's more difficult to eat 50 hot dogs in 10 minutes than it is to climb Mount Everest, which is why competitive eating is the greatest representation of the indomitable human spirit and should be represented in the Olympics. The last change I would make is that the Olympics should allow countries to participate in grudge matches with real world consequences. If your country wins a medal in the Olympics, you should be allowed to challenge another country to a head-to-head -head duel to resolve any beef with that country. If you had a border dispute with a nation, you could challenge that nation to a shot put match. And whoever wins that match wins the border dispute. Couple rules to this. Each country that medals is allowed to get one grudge match. If you don't win any medals, you aren't allowed to challenge anybody. And it's not one match per medal. No, you win any medal, you get one and only one grudge match. No team sports either. It's only solo one player sports allowed. And the most important rule, your country's leader has to compete. Like I would love to see Xi Jinping chuck a javelin to see who gets to own Taiwan. Right now, Netanyahu and the Iranian Alatola are both in bunkers threatening to go to war with each other. Let's get these clowns out of the bunkers and into the pool for a 50 meter swim contest. Ukraine gets one medal and they don't even beg for military aid no more. Zelensky and Putin wrestling match for Ukraine. Let's f go. This could take the Olympics to a whole new level. Olympics are cool because your country plays in them, but most of these sports, they aren't very interesting. There's a reason why you never see gymnastics randomly playing at a sports bar on a Tuesday. It's just not that exciting. But if I knew that there was a Palestinian girl tumbling to win a grudge match for the Holy Lands, I'm tuning in. And if she medals, Netanyahu and the leader of Hamas are gonna have to fence for who gets Jerusalem, the world's gonna be glued to the TV. These are the kind of fresh new updates the Olympics desperately needs.